After not visiting my gym for some time, I was eager to go back. Firstly, the first thing I noticed was the need to check in with safe entry. Personally, I feel safe entry is really good and gives me a sense of security as it was made to prevent and control COVID transmissions through activities like contact tracing and identification of clusters. Next, I also noticed the yellow boxes in the lift which is to facilitate safe distancing. Finally, after 3 months, arriving to the gym, we have to undergo a second round of safe entry. This is to ensure that no infected people are breaching their stay home notices or quarantine orders, ensuring a safe environment for everyone to train in. Upon entering the gym, we all undergo compulsory temperature screening. Here at Impact, anyone above 37.3 degrees Celsius will not be allowed to train and ask to leave. After checking your temperature, everyone is to fill up the entry and exit registration form, complying that you agree to follow gym and government rules and regulations in accordance to the COVID-19 measures. The government has actually implemented a ton of rules and regulations to follow for all martial art gyms in Singapore. Here I'm going to be talking about how the gym has adapted and how one of my coaches has adapted to these rules and how he conducts the training accordingly. Here you see some yellow boxes and blue lines. First, let's talk about the yellow boxes. There are 8 in total. This is to facilitate the maximum number of people allowed in each class. As stated in the first regulation, facilities can only allow a maximum number of people depending on how large the facility is. After much checking and communication with the government, the determined maximum class size of 8 participants is according to the gym size. Also, the yellow boxes are structured in a way to facilitate social distancing between individuals. The blue lines are to facilitate distancing if there are more than 5 people. This is to adhere to the rule to have not more than 5 people per group. Distancing is to be maintained if there are more than one group sharing the space. Coaches also play an important part as he enforces all of these rules. So in that clip, you actually saw my coach focusing on the fine details of the push kick, a traditional technique in Muay Thai. I think it is important to point out that this class is filled with people of different levels. We had beginners up to a national kickboxer. However, all of us could benefit from focusing and further improving on our fundamentals. Like they say, basics wins fights. With the smaller class size, one of the benefits is definitely getting more one-to-one -one attention. As compared to when his classes are filled with people, usually over 30 people, you can see my push kick getting corrected and finely tuned. He also does this with the rest of the people in class, regardless of levels. I think it's good that coach has adapted by focusing on more technical aspects of our game instead of just smashing pads blindly and focusing on getting tired. That method of training is fun and will develop our cardiovascular game. However, I feel the technical knowledge you obtain from one of the best in Singapore is simply invaluable. Don't get me wrong, physical conditioning is important but you definitely could develop it in your own time through bag work and other forms of conditioning. However, I would say the biggest downside of this whole situation is being unable to spar. We can't spar technical, hard or anything at all.
When doing bag work, we are also to adhere to social distancing measures. For example, if I'm on the orange bag, anyone else hitting the bag has to be one bag away. After each class, everyone is to clean and disinfect the equipment they use. Also, members of the gym, be it staff, coaches, fighters, would also mop and disinfect the training area before the next class starts. Keeping clean in this crisis is extremely important. Last but not least, after class we have to leave and make sure not to linger. This is to prevent overcrowding in the gym. Of course, remembering to check out with safe entry.